Greetings to all. I am Dean Kaliselvi, Assistant Professor, CSE Department, RMD Engineering College. The subject code is 22CS201, Data Structures, Theory Course with Laboratory Component. Second semester, Unit 5. The topic we are going to see is extendable ashing. Ashing is one of the method used to store and arrange, retrieve the data in the memory location used in data structures. Extendable ashing will come under dynamic method. So using this method dynamically, you can increase the size of the hash table and also uh, improve the performance of the hash function. In extensible hashing, the example in which I have taken, the global depth is equal to 2 and the bucket size is equal to 3. Suppose we have the records with these key values as mentioned in the table and the hash function h of key is equal to key mod 64. So each time the key value will be operated with the modulus operator and the reminder will be stored as the hash of, hash of key and which is in turn changed into a bit pattern. Here I am following 6 bit pattern. So when double one, double one key values divided with 64, that is I'm doing modulus operator, the remainder will be stored. So the remainder is 23, which is in turn is a decimal value, which converted into a binary number. The uh, related conversion is 0, 1, 0, double, triple one. Similarly, double three, double three, this key is modulus with 64. The reminder is 5. The corresponding 6-bit pattern will be 000101. Likewise, I am going to add these key values in this table and the corresponding hash function and the corresponding bit pattern. So, these are the values I am going to add in the hash table. Here, the global depth is Two. So, in th this means in the bit pattern, I am going to consider the last two bits. So, the global size G is equal to 2. So, local depth is 2 and the bucket size is 3. So, local depth here also I am going to consider the bit pattern for the last two digits. And the bucket size here, see I am we have 3 buckets. And, that have your, and we have your pointer that connected to the local depth. Initially, for double one, double one, the binary pattern will be double one, zero one, double one. So the last two digit is double one. So in the global depth, I am going for double one, which in turn will be stored in the local depth with the bucket size three in the first position. For the next double three, uh, one, uh, double, double three, double three, the corresponding bit pattern after doing the uh, hash function, the value is 0, 1, the last two digits. So in the 0, 1 global depth, I'm connecting to the local depth and adding the double three, double three in the first bucket. Next is next di di digit, 1, 2, double three, corresponding bit pattern after the hash function. So the last two digit is double one. Here in C, you can see that in already double one, we have the key value double one and double one. So it will be occupy the next bucket. Likewise, we will be adding the remaining numbers. When we, in the previous slide, can you can see here in the one one global depth, the bucket size, local bucket size is 3. So all the 3 bucket is filled. If suppose I'm going to add the fourth value in this bucket, in this area, bucket overflow occurs. See here, when adding 8, 2, 3, 1, the last two digit is 1, 1. So the corresponding is going to the global depth of 1, 1. The uh, here already the 3 bucket size are filled. So here, the 
bucket overflow occurs at this stage you will be doubling the directory structure so you are going to double the global depth so what is the size initially four now the size will be eight so here i'm increasing and i'm changing the bit pattern from two to three so i'm now i'm going to consider last three digit now i'm going to rearrange according to it by adding zeros and one. Now I am again doing the again I am doing the storing operation. See now the values are get changed. So the first three is for local depth two. Next here it will be for local depth three. For the next two days. Bucket size, I'm increasing the local depth to three. I'm considering the last three bits as the bucket overflow occurs. When I am encountering these two these values, one double zero triple one. Now I am going to check the last three values, which is triple one. So the corresponding value will be stored in triple one, the last value. One, two, three, five will be in the 0, double 1. Even the last two, two digits are same. The third digit is deferred. So, that will be, they will be available in different local depth. You are going to add the same thing for the last two digits. If the bucket overflow occurs, we will be considering the third digit. Otherwise, we will be used, considering only the two digits. Again, if bucket overflow occurs, even after the doubling, we will again, we'll increase the uh, directory structure from, now the size is 8, which will be changed to 16. So, this is a perfect example for extendable hashing. Thank you.